and welcome to Holdridge's Crusade. Today we are in Kale Dracul again, and we are going to be doing the quest Find the Survivors. This is a partisan quest, and uh, it's one of three. And to do this quest, you have to have already done the three mercenary quests here from uh, Derekor the Vindicator. So let's go ahead and uh, start this here. Let's go ahead and hail him. And uh, the text is going to be the same because I believe it's skills is the trigger, right? There we go. Uh, so we can get all of the <laughs> the mercenary quests again. Uh, I don't want any of those, but find find the survivors is the one we want. So Derek Hor, the Vindicator, is in charge of defending King Tormax against the Restless Dead. Because of this ob obligation, he cannot leave his post, but he would like... To assist any survivors that are holding out in Kale, he has asked you to follow up with the rumors about the giants holding the bank in the merchant areas. All right, and then you have you have served us well, little one. I have another task for you. While I would approve if you kept helping with the restless dead, I want you to know if there's others survived. If so, please. We must let them know the king still rules Kale. And uh, I believe the king is back here. Like, he's on tracking. Uh, I've never gone back there. The statue of Rallo seeks up and stuff like that. Like, I, I've never gone back there to uh, investigate. Uh, looks like there is a quest back there with that guy. So, you know, maybe we'll go check it out at some point. But uh, I didn't want to, like, get one shot by some nonsense. <laughs> like, it's just funny stuff all right so what we need to do is go to the the bank and the merchant area so it's pretty easy uh, i believe we have to kill nine mobs in this also uh so that's not uh, too bad so let's go ahead and uh throw a few little buffy buffs on i just did my lesson of the day got a few more aas uh I've been doing Grick lore, upgraded my gear, got more uh, Velium infused armor, which is uh, uh, TOV tier 3 tra tra trade skill armor. Uh, I want to make an attempt on Zalandikar, uh, probably after we finish the Partisans here. Um, all my Googling says you need, uh, you know, a million DPS. And uh, if we bring in this, come on. Drag. All right. So this is my this is my stats for my burn this morning. Not my burn. My just doing daily lesson. Right now, I know my uh, my druid is one twenty, but you can see her DPS is not much more than what the druid was before. Uh, she should be using the one fifteen spells that I I configured on her, the same as the old one, to kind of keep that down a little bit. But she does have. Like certain focuses that require higher level spells to work uh but you can see here no regard is everything so if if i were to actually burn um i think i could hit over 1 million easily and uh you can see here like the druid hit for 3 million on something and i hit for 2.5 million with a two-handed slay so i think we have the potential to get to that million dps uh that we need to safely end Zandikar this little uh, challenge, but we'll see. Okay, yeah. All right, and that looks all good. I'm just trying to make sure everything is buffed before we move. All right, let's go down to the bank. Hold on, I think she cast another spell. <laughs> that stupid macro. Uh, come on. There we go. That's shaman. So, but another another problem that it does arise, right, is Xandikar requires uh, 113 to actually go into the mission and do the task. So, that means the shaman needs uh, two levels, I believe. I think she's 111 right now. Uh, she is 111, so... I need to do that, and I wouldn't. I was gonna bring Tawani because she is my uh, my random DPS in that last slot until uh, 
until we can get that. So I'm, I'm probably, after I finish the uh, two mercenary, three mercenary quests here, I'm probably going to uh, uh, redo all the mercenary quests again, just to uh, get them kind of going here. All right, so here's a guy. Let's hail him. Uh, he jumps nearly to the roof. Oh, it's just one of you tiny people. Just ignore him. He's being... He's been talking about a wolf bite since the whole thing started. He's been touched by Kazakh Duel or perhaps uh, Vesalia. Alright, that's not what we want. What? The Vindicator sent you? It is good to hear that the king still lives. We here have managed to drive those dead things away. But they keep coming back. Some of them are far more aggressive than others. Please deal with any more of the aggressive dead you can. Alright them so what we're going to do now there's a hidden task that hasn't been revealed yet because we have to go hail the other guy so we'll do that here in just a second uh the hidden task is uh let's get speed uh the hidden task is to kill nine of the aggressive dead so you see this aggressive corpse right here this guy's fighting so we're gonna have to kill nine of those so we're just going to sneak out here, go up here, like the, I like the change here, right? Like, the, I guess, the bef you know, before this is this lake of, lake of ice and uh, the dogs are down there, right? That's so, it's just like so annoying. <laughs> so, uh, now, this is going to actually be a pain in the, in the rear. Um, let me see here. Let's see if I can do this quick without uh, dying. So we're going to do Spirit of the Eagle. Then we're going to do Perfect and Undead. All right. That should work. So this should <laughs> let us get up the stairs significantly easier. All right. Let's kind of... We got to watch out in here. Some of... Like, I came in here with my Necro uh, at some point, and... There was a name down here and just like sh totally one shot him. So you gotta kind of like watch out. But we're using Levitate to get over this. And it kind of helps us get up the stairs even as a short guy. That's nice. Alright. Everybody with me? I guess I could have just brought the mage over here and call a hero. Uh, so let's check these out. So these should not be actual names. Names will see through in Viz Undead, right? So that's something to keep in mind. Current zone. Frozen Shard is the name of the name. So if we see him, just gotta watch out. All right, so here we go. We find the, the other survivors over here. Uh, gang banging that thing uh, to death. All right, Yatar. Let's go ahead and hail him. Ah, adventurer, so you've spoken with Derekor. And you say the king lives? I am unsurprised. The Vindicator and the elite guards should be able to stand firm against these monstrosities. It has been a challenge for us, after all. One of the monsters that we had to put down was a cousin of mine. If you could deal with any more of the aggressive monsters... We would feel a lot safer and give the king my regards. All right. Now we have the quest to kill the aggressive dead. So let's kind of just, uh, I think the bank area is probably going to be the best place to do it. There's just so, like, you see how they're clustered, right? It's just like, a, you know, a bit of a cluster to, <laughs> to pull these. Now I can low pull uh, some of these, but it's just not, it's not worth the effort. In my, in my uh, opinion. Uh, if we don't have to kill them, we don't have to. So, And I've seen far more down at the, the bank area. So let's just kind of make our way back through here. Uh, we're using Levitate. And this is a group task, right? So conveniently, we probably could have just like ran one character. <laughs> just called it a day. Uh, but here I am running all my characters. There we go, and back down here. So that's a cleric of Valen Zeke, veteran. All right, let's keep going. Now I am gonna probably wanna get rid of this levitate. I hate levitate so much. 
Let me do that real quick. I wish there was a way to make a macro to click off a buff. Uh, that would be fantastic. <laughs> I would like more more slash commands to make things a little bit um, less annoying. All right, so here we go. Uh, here's an aggressive dead. Now, I don't think these ones will count, but let's try. Let's, uh, we, we cannot do anything AOE because we will hit the uh, other giants. So, if we can get these ones that are being uh, already manhandled, might as well do that. And something weird I've noticed is, so, I, I, for since since like early TLPs, like I've been, I've had these little text boxes over here with the damage, right? Because you know, reading the te text down here is kind of hard, and I kind of like I, when I played World of Warcraft, I had like the scrolling text on the side of the screen, so I could kind of see how hard I'm hitting for, right? Uh, that one counted. It's perfect. There we go. Let's go ahead and. Uh, I don't think this one will count, but. At least eliminate it for these guys. Uh, anyway, this text over here. <laughs> these are light blue. I still evac'd. Uh, I don't. I don't know what happened there. He like uh, attacked the closest thing or something. Anyway, I'm running back to the bank. Anyway, so like these uh, little text windows right here. I, I get a lot of questions about them. How I set them up and stuff like that. And I have my UI on uh, on uh, on my Discord right for. I think this character now. And the warrior from the Boomer Guard series, but I feel like honestly the text rendering here is causing my frame rate issues because <laughs> it, it's you know I have five clients going right, and I'm almost certain it's rendering all this text even if I can't see it right. Like I'm almost certain because on TLPs, like if you go to like the I have my chat window here right, it's just full of people linking stuff right, and. I will get even one client open true box TLP, right? I will get a massive frame rate drop just doing that. And uh, just looking at that screen. And I think like the text rendering might be causing a lot of my issues. So I'm probably going to eliminate this on my boxes and probably eliminate for me since now I'm using this uh, the UQ log parser overlay which gives it's a little bit more useful information right I don't really care how hard I'm getting hit for most of the time you know I at this point I realize I'm gonna get hit for anywhere between 1 and 60k <laughs> like I, I've come to that realization at this point that is kind of like you know what is gonna happen and I think uh, just having like the DPS and stuff going is gonna be uh, more useful. I can also t switch it to tank, right? And uh, shows me how much damage I'm tanking, right? It's interesting. It's very interesting. All right, so this is dumb. <laughs> Jesus, what happened there? All right. Oh my gosh. I don't even. I don't even know what happened. Oh, I got three of them on me. I can't evac. All right, let's. Oh, cleric died. Bar's gift. Bar's gift. Gift of life. Gift of life. Hand of life. Lay of dead. I don't have evac, so I think I'm dead. I don't. I think I got too close. Um. I'm out of. I'm out of everything. <laughs> I'm. I'm dead. Oh, uh, it's a total wipe, I think. Here, let's see if I can get anybody out. All right, well, I got to fix that. I, I guess I got too close to those, and I got three. <laughs> Jesus. All right, we're back down here at the bank area, and hopefully we don't get smashed again. Uh... These mobs hit hard, right? I mean, I, I'm not gonna lie. They hit pretty hard. Uh, <laughs> we're currently at uh, 376,000 hit points uh, with the sword and board. 
so uh, definitely uh, need it. I, I theoretically I could have probably slowed that stuff, but I was in such a panic heal mode that I don't think letting off the healing from because uh, well, I guess I could I could have slowed with the enchanter, uh, but I don't know I don't know how much that would have actually helped at all. <laughs> Uh, there's just so much damage coming out, right? Alright, what do we got? We got a lot of wolves over there. Is this like a, an alternate ramp to go up the stairs? Oh my god, it is. That's so nice. Uh, Storm Giant Soldier right here. Let's... I'm trying to clear, like, everything <laughs> that's in this general area. There's... I know one roamer behind us. So we'll get him next, but yeah, it's just a, uh, see how this goes, right? There we go. Cause if I can, if I can get enough room, right, that I can, uh, geez, this guy's got hit points. Uh, if I can get enough room so I can like kind of pull them a little better, you know, it might be better. Uh, but we'll see. I do, I do plan on, uh, I, I do plan on personifying, uh, Holdridge into a Shadow Knight and a Warrior. And, uh, kind of going through the game and doing different achievements, so. I would, I'm gonna enjoy seeing how I can do this differently with an, you know, a Shadow Knight, right? And, uh, actually having, you know, the proper kind of DPS, because, uh, I'm gonna do it right next time. <laughs> uh... I'm gonna do it right. All right, let me see what we got going on over here. So, this guy is just like standing here, just like, what the? F All right, this guy just. Won. So they do an AOE. I think that's what it is. All right, we're good. We're good. We're good. I don't see. I don't see those other mobs. I think they're fighting the NPCs. So we're good. We're good. Oh, get a little shaman DPS on there. Yes, we will. I mean, look at that mage DPS. Jeez. 400k. <laughs> he is loving life right now. What is he doing? What is he doing? He's just chain casting whatever I have in that multi bind. Alright, whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, that was scary. All right, let's go. Let's go help these guys out here. Uh, let's get this aggressive dead here. I do have e backup now, so if something does go wrong, <laughs> uh, we can we can make haste out of this. There we go. What do we have four of eight? Five of eight. I can't tell if they're having some like line of sight issue there. There we go. This will be six of eight, most likely. But I need to uh I need to make some changes to the druid, I think. Uh right now I have both of the druid forms in her spam. And I'm gonna take out the group one and put that in a separate burn uh, setup. Try to optimize, optimize the burning, if you will, so that you know she will use group form only in in burns. So that'll you know save some resources, I think. But uh, we'll see. <laughs> All right, uh, let's just kill this because it it does hate us. And these are all the guys that killed us earlier. I guess they were still fighting since uh, since I was going rebuffed. All right, we got an aggressive corpse on us. This will be what is over here? Six of six of eight. As long as these other guys don't pop up on the extended target, I'm fine. I'm perfectly fine. 
the problem happens, I think, what what happened before is if they AoE, the enchanter has a chance to be like, get fucked, and she will do a one of her buffs will just knock something back and root it. Is from what I can tell. Uh, so if that happens, you know, I can't really help that, but it is definitely uh, something that can happen. Because uh, I've seen her get attacked and she just, she's like, get away from me. You know, it's just kind of cool. Alright, seven of eight, we're almost done. There's two down there, but that's, that's a trick. That's a trick down there. Oh, there we go, let's perfect. And Riz. Alright, I saved you guys' butts. Go find Tormax, go have fun. All right, we got three down there. That just doesn't feel like a fun pull. I, all my pulls are based on how fun they would be to die to. <laughs> all right, nothing up there. I just need another one to spawn so I can kind of cheese this whole uh, situation here at the bank. Uh, that guy's like the next quest, so we'll come back to him later. Yeah, nothing there. About down this way. And I think the dogs can't be lulled, if I remember right. It's like, it's some weird ass restrictions. <laughs> it's just total nerf. Nerfing of the enchanter class, really, is what it boils down to. And with that, actually, so I've been thinking, uh, so my plan when I do Holdridge's Shadow Knight is to level up a another enchanter with uh, my bard and the, with the goal to replace this enchanter with my bard as an enchanter slash bard uh, using personas. And I think that is going to be probably the way to go go forward. I don't want to have both in the group. Uh, because, like, in this zone here, the Enchanter is nothing but ADPS. So, I think in these Tier 2 zones, I switch to the Bard, since Cam is anyway. So, I don't even have to think about that nonsense. Right? I can just uh, be like, you know what? We're, uh, we're running the Bard today. And uh, uh, run Melody and... You know, if she melees, she melees, because it's not that great of melee anyway. So I think that's going to be how I, I handle that going forward. Like in the lower tier, you know, you're first progressing. You kind of need the enchanter for that extra stuff, right? You know, the, the crowd control and all that. But if the, all the tier two, two zones are like this, where you can't crowd control, we'll find out when we get to uh, Tower of the... Uh, tower? What, what is it called? It's like the seven levels of the tower. What is the fuck is it called? Uh, exploration. Tower of the Frozen Shadow. When we get there, we'll see how the me how mezzing crowd control works there. Uh, I don't have any remembrance of how <laughs> that worked. I remember I root rotted some things and I necro pulled some things, but I don't remember. I don't remember how I did that at all. So. We'll find out, but I think that's probably going to be a safe way to go. Like uh, long term for the series is just have one crowd control character, and we can just swap between them, right? And using personas, and then I don't have to do double the progression. I'm already, you know, I'm already going to have to redo a significant, you know, part of all the progression on all these, uh, on all my boxes to get them leveled up and stuff, but. I think it's going to be worth it. I'll get AAs. I'll eventually cap out AAs on probably all three of the personas I plan to do. Just getting progression done for all these guys. So it'll be, uh, it'll be pretty interesting. So we killed the last one and we're going to run back up here to, uh, the Vindicator and, uh, turn this quest in and that'll be the first partisan quest done. All right, here we go. Let's hail him. It is good to hear that some still live. 
Someday we will make whoever was responsible for this pay. Uh, so we got 212 platinum, 13 AA points, one mercenary point, and uh, that's about it. We look at the achievements here, quests. It's so close to being done. And we have to do this earring. <laughs> like I, I, uh, yeah, I, we have to. All right, so the next quest starts with a guy down in the bank, uh, Wolf Bites a Giant. So this will be where we head to next episode. But there we go. First partisan done of uh, Kale. Uh, hopefully we don't die again because <laughs> it is uh, quite time consuming. But uh, thank you very much for watching and please have a fantastic day.